How to build a multi-channel marketing strategy for your business. Discover Mautic, a marketing automation platform to enhance your sales and marketing efforts. Mautic is a powerful open source solution to automate marketing campaigns, nurture leads and drive growth to your business. It offers a range of features and tools designed to engage with your audience at every stage of the customer journey, increase efficiency and boost conversions. From campaign management and content segmentation to advanced automation workflows and detailed analytics, Mautic provides a comprehensive suite of tools to help you drive meaningful engagement and build long-lasting relationships with your customers. Mautic is open source. You can install it to the server of your choice by following the documentation instruction. Together, we will use our platform to install it easily in few clicks. The other benefits are the automated updates and backups. On LSEO, hit login. Then deploy my first service, search for Motic, select, choose your cloud provider. I will be using Scaleway. I will keep the friends region, but you can choose the one that is close to you and your target audience, your service plan. Hit next, your level of support. You can name the instance you want. I will keep the default automatically generated name and hit create service. I received the email telling me that my instance is ready. Click here to get the password. I arrive on the dashboard of my instance. I click here to copy it to my clipboard and click here to access my instance. The email address is the one from my LSTO account and the password is in my clipboard. Keep me logged in and log in. When we arrive, we land directly on the dashboard, but we don't have anything yet. So it's not very visual, but you can see what we could have if we had some data. Let's start by going to companies and start our building our first company. Hit new. You have a default form with the company information. The only one uh, required is the company name, but it's good to fill more for you and for your team. You can also add additional information into the professional section. All those data, it can be used by your team when they contact the company, but it can also be used in your uh, marketing strategy and automation. So fill it as much as you can. Then we have the score on the left, we'll go into it later and a company owner. So currently there is only me. My name is Motic Admin because it's the default account that is created, but I could rename me. I will keep it save and close. You can see that once we have one company set, it creates a table and you can find your companies like this. Okay, there are tons of things you can do, but I tried to set an order to explain you things so it's a bit clearer for you to understand how a Motic works. Let's go into stages. It's not the first menu, but believe me, it's better to start by setting up stages. You can hit new, but before trying to guess what it is, what I recommend you is to go and open the documentation that Mautic provides. That documentation is comprehensive and you have all the different sections to understand all the key components of Mautic. So have a read at all of them to understand what you're able to achieve with it. Stages is a way to define the life cycle of a contact, create stages based on your marketing stages and move your contacts from stage to stage. Okay, now we know what it is supposed to be, we can create our different stages. It requires a name, let's say top of the funnel. It's uh, once the contact is added into Martix, the weight is zero. We can add categories that uh, when it's published or not, it's on every entity of Matic, but we don't need it. You can add some description. So contact has just been added. So you remember what this uh, stage is for. And so your team does. We save, then we will create two other ones. We'll do middle of the funnel. Of course, you can create better names based on uh, what you are doing, what your business is doing. We'll put a weight of 40, save and close. And we'll add a last one. We'll name it converted. And the weight is 100, save and close. What it means is when we will add a contact into Matic, either manually or by the tools provided, like the form or the newsletter, or by API anyway, our um, contacts will be into the top of the funnel. So they will have zero points. And the more they will interact with your newsletters, with your forms, you will give them points. And once they will do a purchase, you will pass them as converted. Well, 
you won't pass them manually. Automatically, they will be triggered and moved to converted section. Okay, now let's go to contacts, create a new. We can use a gravatar, which is based on the email, or we can just upload a file. We can add first name, last name, an email, the company. So you can create a new one or attach it to one of the company you already have. By the way, it is the manual way to create contacts, but usually you won't create them one by one. Again, you have many information you can set. You can also add the social account, but we won't. And save and close. Now we arrive on the page of a contact. So it's pretty good looking because you have a lot of information, like a graph with the engagement and points earned to go into different stages. Currently, because we have zero points, we are not uh, into another stage than uh, the top of the funnel. And you have all the events associated to this user. Okay, now let's try to go into segments. Uh, once you added your different companies, your different contacts, you can create segments based on it. So hit new, you can name it. I will um, name it new contacts. You can add an alias and a public name, but I will keep it by default. And you can add a filter. Me, I will filter it based on the stage and you can select what stage you want. So it's the one we created, either converted, middle of the funnel or top of the funnel. So the new ones are in the top of the funnel. You can save it. Currently it's displaying no contacts because it requires a few seconds before uh, automatically attaching the one that match that segment. Oh, but also did I attach the stage to my user? I don't oh no, it's not done. So go edit and stage it's top of the funnel. It's not automatically uh, the default one. It's later that we will update it automatically. So here we can see engagement. We can see in the audit log that our user change its stage. So you have all information on what happened on every contact. Now, if we go back to segments, for the moment it's a no contacts, but if we go back at it later, we should see that there are the contacts calculated here. Let's jump to the components. These are great way to create marketing content and to have metrics, analytics, and tracking on uh, those components. The simplest one is assets. So what it is, it's only files, assets, like you can add PDF, images, whatever you want. You can categorize them, define their language. But the good thing is that you can add a published and unpublished date. Oh, let's, let's show how it works. Upload the file. I will use again my picture. I can rename it. So profile, picture, save and close. Now, instead of just having a link, we have a tracked link. We can either disable the link, set a start and end date, but we can see all the different downloads. Then we should be able to see all the downloads here. We can see a preview of the document. It's better than just sharing raw file. You have no idea what's going on with this file, if it works, if it's downloaded, if it's used. Then you can create other components like forms. Go and hit new. You can create a campaign form or a standalone form. Let's create a campaign one. You can set a name, newsletter, subscription. You can add what happened after uh, the form has been successfully submitted. You can add all the different fields you need. So for example, you need the email of the user, so email address, what you will show, what contact field it is linked to, but by default it will set it to the email, which is logical. You can define if it's uh, required. If we want to subscribe them to our newsletter, it's required. Please enter your email address, then the attributes, but we don't need to change it, and the behavior. If we always display it or no, autofill data, we can say yes, and add the field. So from here we can preview the campaign form, we have the email address, 
then we have a submit button. Then we can go and add some actions of what we do from it. Maybe you want to download an asset like a white book that you created, but you wanted the email address of the user. So you will do download an asset once you had the email of the user, or maybe you will just want to send it by email. So you can do send email to user. It's a really good and easy way to automate your marketing actions. Let's hit save and close. Like for most Mautic entities, you have a graph with all the submissions and everything that happened to the form. We also have landing pages. We can hit new. Then you can either choose to code it or use a blank template, but it comes with a builder. So you can create a landing page using blocks, image blocks. Um, here are the image we already added. Then you can add extra styling, but it's a complete comprehensive uh, feature to build landing page. We won't cover the builder. Okay. You also have dynamic content. The dynamic content, it's more useful when we will see just after uh, what campaigns are. So it's a way to uh, create content based on variables. So you have a rich text editor here and inside you can bind uh, variables. It won't be clear if we don't start by watching what campaigns are and it's uh, the main feature of Mautic. Let's hit new and launch campaign builder. So you can start your campaign by determining on who it applies to. So you can do it on campaign forms or contact segments. As we created a segment, let's do it on contact segment. And we have new contacts. You can see it found uh, our users add and then you can branch three types of things. Decision, so it's when a contact decides to take action or not, or like opening a mail. An action is something that we will perform and then act accordingly, like sending an email. And a condition is based on the outcome of something we did. So let's start by doing an action. We will send an email. Let's name it a welcome message email. When do we want to do it? Maybe we will want to do it immediately or at a re relative time period. So let's say 30 minutes after you subscribe to any platform or you just added the contact, you want to send an email. What email do you want to send? We didn't create one yet. So from here, we can create a new email. Like the landing page, you have the code mode or a template, but you have other templates, additional ones that are ready to go. So let's take this one and we can open the builder on a template and just modify the text, the link of the buttons and start working with it. And once you're fine with it, hit save and close. So we can see what is going on. We wait 30 minutes, we send the email and then we can add a decision based on what the user did. So if he clicked on the email of, or if he visits a page from a link of the email, but let's just say click email. So, um, email uh, clicked, we add it, then we can add an action. For example, adjust contact points because um, the user starting being involved with our content. So just after we will add the user maybe 50 points. So once he will open this email, then he will enter into the second phase, second stage, because we detected that this user is more likely uh, to convert later. So increase points. And you can say if the user doesn't, then you can maybe send another email or remove from the list or do a lot of things to create your marketing strategy. So you see, it's a very powerful UI builder to automate your marketing strategy. Let's save it again on your uh, onboarding campaign. You can have a preview, see all the decision action it contain and some statistics on what is going on. When is it performed? Now, another great tool from Mautic is channels. We've already seen emails when we created a new newsletter. Let's have a look at what focus items are. Hit new and what it is, it's on your website. For example, um, let's say my website, I can open the builder. It automatically show my website on the left and I can add additional content that will be 
automatically connected to Mautic. So what I will use is maybe display uh, notice or even collect data. I will animate it. I will wait the user, mm, well, no, just when the user arrive, I might wait like uh, two, uh, two seconds. I will do it either every time the user arrive or once per session or every two minutes. So yeah, I have a lot of control that if I asked the development team to do it, it will take a lot of time. While here it's already out of the box available for you. So then what do I do? I will look at the content. I will say subscribe to the newsletter to not miss my upcoming video. Okay, so what style should be used? Let's say I want to display a model. So when the user wait two seconds, it will open the pop-up and show this. Of course, I could add uh, some input fields to ask for the email address and automatically have uh, the user added to my Motic. Let's hit Close Builder, save it. I have all the metrics here and on the right, it's just a script I have to copy paste into my page to have this feature enabled into my website. We've seen how to handle points on users based on uh, campaigns, but we can also create them manually into Mautic with different action that will do what will impact our users automatically, whether by actions or by triggers. So you can create a whole system based on if you add the social link of one user, then you will credit them 10 points. So it will be automatically, you don't have to tell your team uh, add 10 points every time uh, you add the social of a user, it will be triggered by the system and automatically credit the user. Then of course you have some other useful features. I recommend you to watch the, the documentation about it. Then you have the settings of your instance. You can change the theme of Mautic. There are many ones available out of the box. It's either for the interface, but also for the content you would create using Mautic. We didn't use them, but you have categories. For example, if you're only working with marketing, you can maybe not use categories. But if you use Mautic for your marketing team, your sales team and your support team, maybe you want to categor categorize your campaigns and understand what campaign is for what kind of thing. But of course you can define the way you categorize things, uh, the way it's more important for you. You can add users from your team and give them different access. Like many other tools I presented, you can define some roles. So who has access to do what on Mautic? Maybe only you have the huge admin system uh, options, but your uh, team will have only access to view data or add contacts. Then you can also add webhooks to automatically integrate your existing backend API or any tool with Mautic. And you can add some useful plugins, for example, OneSignal for push notifications or Twilio to send SMS directly to your contacts. Thank you for watching. We hope you liked our platform overview of Motic. If it's the case, please hit the like button to help our content be more visible to other open source lovers. If you want to discover new great free tools, subscribe to the channel and watch our existing platform overviews like this video here.